Hi, I'm Peapod Paul, and welcome to the Minecraft Prison Server. In this, you uh, essentially just walk out of a bus and you're a prisoner. My story is I stole too many pennies out of the take a penny, leave a penny jar in a in a gas station, and uh, now I'm here. So you start off with basically no equipment. I have a little bit. I've been I I practiced a little just to get a feel of it. And uh, you essentially have to walk around this prison with with your trusty trusty Minecraft shank and uh, hope to gather enough resources and things to pay your way to freedom. So right now, as you can see, there is a green there's a row of green glass bricks here blocks, and that means everything here and that way is safe. There's no PvP what whatsoever but everything from the red line until the next green line is pvp and you don't have to have a reason to to fight someone else you just you just do it so i'm gonna try to get through here pretty quickly because i actually have a decent number of stoof that i that person had a horse can't really get horses here i don't know how that happened but basically, you see here, you get your resources, mine them up, and then you take them out here, and they'll, oop, this guy is decked out, don't want to mess with him. Well, there's a lot of people fighting, so I think I'll just stay here, but, like, down there, there's a store, and you sell stuff, and you type slash rank up, and once you have enough money, that'll allow you to become a higher rank prisoner as you can see from the sign up here I'm in the C block mine but if I wanted to I could go into the B block cuz I've actually ranked up to a, a rank B prisoner I think there's three three ranks in case you decide to check it check it out over the course of the series I'll always remember to put the uh, address to the server in the description so you can check it out for yourself it's always good when you're in these mining areas when they respawn to get in here because you can end up getting a lot of the good stuff that ends up spawning on the top because unlike in normal minecraft the good stuff doesn't just spawn at the bottom it's it's randomly placed throughout the uh, whole block here and so every few minutes or so this will reset and be completely filled up but what you can do is you can make traps for other players like if you dig down here and if they fall in they will perish and you won't have to pvp them since you have no good equipment and you can just take their loot it's a little cheap but you know for c rank prisoners it's there's not much else you can do because a lot of the higher ranked prisoners hang out in the c rank so they can just spawn kill all the newbies ain't that fun alrighty 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 things seem to have calmed down a wee bit so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna head to the safe safe areas and uh, head head my way down to a shop once this guy just stops spamming his sword although that'll probably be a half hour Okay, he ran away. Go for it! Okay, that guy managed to hit me with his axe. I ran because he has a, a diamond axe, so no biggie, because I has ar armor, which is good. Also down here is another place you can uh, frequent for items to sell. It's fish. There's You can buy your own fishing rod and stuff, but it's not really worth it because I've never never seen a single person catch a fish in here it's it's ridiculously hard all right back up the stairs now it should be on the right the selling stuff so if you sprint real quick like and here we are this is <sighs> I think I think I had something like 40 loaves bread those don't come cheap 
Oh well. Here we go. Oh, heading to the C block shop to show ya. Go, 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 go. The floor is such an ugly orange. Alrighty. So, now that I have no stuff, I can show you how this thing works. So, you have all these frames here with the items that you can buy and sell just to show you a visual of them um, and above them are buying signs and below them well uh, these ones have buying signs these ones have selling signs so you can either buy them on this top thing or you can sell one cobblestone here for a dollar or 64 for 64 dollars so you don't have to click the whole time so I'm going to sell however many wooden planks I can, and that adds 256 to my account. Now, I realized after I sold those wooden planks that I don't actually have anything to make tools to um, get more stuff. Punch, 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 break, punch, punch. I don't think I've ever seen someone punch through a Minecraft tree that quickly before. Guess I'm so amazing. Doot, doot, making the wood. And Houston, we have sticks. So this, the crafting isn't different. There isn't any modded crafting. It's all, it's all the huge stuff. Hopefully, I won't get utterly obliterated here. I obviously have nothing to offer them. Don't kill me. Thank you. Alrighty. So now. Ooh, free bowl. Oh, that's empty. I was hoping for soup. Just gonna make me regular old pickaxe. Ting. Alrighty. Back into the danger zone. Hope I don't get shanked. Didn't get shanked, luckily. That would have been a travesty. I make my living usually off trees. You can actually make quite a lot of money because if you don't break them down into their wooden plank form, they're worth four dollars each because you can make four planks, which are worth a dollar each. So if you just sit with two axes you can just get a whole lot of money I wish I had that iron and coal again though I think I actually if memory serves which it does I have some coal and iron in there because you can buy chests to store stuff in. oh come on bro I have nothing Okay, he ran away. I made it. I have nothing. Nothing. Lightning speed, speed, speed. They're teaming me. Uh, no. That was fun. Le cool. Okay. This time we're gonna sneak in there while they're not looking. Uh-oh. I've been spotted. Bushy Brows, no! you killed me far too many times, Bushy Brows. Yeah, get him. Get that. I like that guy's hoodie. It's all orange. Let's buy some bread. I like to give people free bread in this game. I mean, it's a huge waste of money since it's $15 for a single piece of bread and can sell one of these things for only four but it's fun I enjoy making the bread rain as it were And 
now to use an amazingly bready distraction uh, in just a second. throw a bread in their eye. I forget which chest I own. Here it is. X. X. Alright. And actually, in the B cell block, mining iron is, like, real easy. So I like to get some basic supplies here, throw them in the chest, and then hope, preferably without dying and losing everything of value to me, make it over there and mine some iron. Alright, let's give people some bread so they stay off my case. It's sort of like a bribe. It's sort of like feeding the needy. Feeding the needy bribery. Yes. Take the bread for you sport and you run as fast as your legs can carry you away from the bread hogs and it works see the two occupied about who's who's gonna pick up the bread to eat first and if they don't have time to kill your face steal your empty wooden bowl and your wooden axe and it begins Super Mega Axe Power Death to Nature with a bull. Look at that. Most of that done with a bull. Most of that off camera. Parts of it sped up to look impressive. I think it's artistic. It's a minimalistic take on, uh, how we've deforested our, our whole world. So many fields. And now that I'm quite satisfied with my deforestation, I'm going to head over and show you the B block if I can. Because I'm going to be sp spending time there in future episodes. Grab an iron, as it were. Like a Bausch. Oh no! Don't see me! Okay. Just nailed it. I like that guy's butter pants. I wish I had butter pants. I just sit down on a chair and slide until eternity. Oh, I just ran right past you, bro. Right past your face. What, 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 what are we doing in here? Save me, butter pants. Use your sword of truth to save me from a non-buttery death. But your death will be buttery. We'll honor it. Hey, bro. Oh. I don't often get into the PvP fray. Usually I just hide and scream like a little girl. But... I can avoid it no longer. Let's put our valuables away. I don't really need that bowl, but you know. So much lag, I probably already died. Mm hmm. And that's how it goes. But we'll respawn in the B block. So, not an entire loss, even though it completely is. 
Really? Really? Delayed reaction match. Shishku is inviting you to deny. I'm very sorry. Some people, you know, they're not as conservative in their choice vegetable words, if you know what I'm saying. Speaking of choice vegetables, let's get ourselves a pickaxe. There we go. Get some mining done. The B block is kind of like the nice neighborhood in the prison. You don't really get shanked as much. I've only been shanked like five times to death here, so, you know, a lot less than the other place. As you can see, iron spawns in a healthy abundance, I, I can say. One thing I must say I find interesting yet strange about this room where you mine is all this dirt. I mean, why? I mean, I guess they don't. They want to give you an incentive to go back to the place that has all the cobblestone, but it's just inconvenient. I guess you can trade for it, but you'll probably get shanked along the way. All the ding dong diamond. Oh my gosh. Talk about incentivization. All I need is some coal, and then I'll be in the clear for getting that, uh, for getting that diamond. I almost forgot what I wanted. Okay. Do you need bread? Have some bread. Give her the bread lag. Thank you. Bread for all. Well, a good munch. Vertically challenged is not vertically doomed. Alright. I hate when this happens. Ridiculous. Alrighty. Coal. I think that hole is meant to destroy someone's face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just getting some coal down his hole. We want some of that sweet coal like nectar. There's the sweet stuff. You don't need a lot to cook. Uh, to cook iron, if memory serves, just a few get you through, because I only have ten after all, that's all I'll need to make an iron pick or two for my, uh, For my purposes, online interactions not rated by ESRB, I promise you. It's quite the other, unfortunately. Crafting up. Did I just say crafting up instead of mining? How foolish. Oh, oh. Well done, lag. Well done. I don't think my goods are still there. If they are, for some reason they're not. 
showing up. Probably because of, uh... No, they're not there. No. Someone beat me to my own funeral. Again. So at the very least, I figured out how to make the chat go away. So that it's not always Russell and Majime's with the requests to join weird guilds. And I think what we're gonna, oh man, I don't think I have enough money. Because the chat's not showing up, I can't really check, but I'm pretty sure that's why it wouldn't let me buy bread. Uh, yes. I have something. So what I like to do is when I'm done done with a session of this game, I like to go on a bread party, just like throwing bread in people's faces and watching them jump like starving animals to get it. It's fun. Let the bread brawl begin. Can't see it, but I'm dropping it because I'm running faster than it. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. First blood. It's right there, bro. Punch him. Punch him. I think he lagged up. Bread ball's almost <laughs> over, anyway. Kinda wish he'd give it back so I could give it to him again to fight. There. Go for it. It's like free UFC. Dang. GG. There's your bread. You know you'll grab it. <gasps> A rival approaches, but is soon dispatched like yesterday's chili. Oh my goodness. Free crap, or garbage, rather. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Thanks, bro. Yes. I mean, a lot of this is garbage, but some of this is legit. Alrighty. Now, let's go cook some iron. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sell the cobblestone. Mm -hmm. Right, right, sell the cobblestone, right? Oh, come on, Mario. Give us a break. You are gonna violence me, I think. We're going to hop in here buy some coal after we sell our cobble that was generously donated by somebody three should do hop a -roo. Alright, more diamond cooking, or not diamond, iron. I haven't jumped that far ahead. Four. Come on. Five. And six. And we have two coal left over. Yeah, I didn't even use the whole cool stuff, cool stuff. And iron picks. Oh, let's keep one down there and put our sticks away. And uh, now comes the hard part, getting back to safety. All right, go. What we're gonna do, and safe. 
So we're going to grab those diamonds, those delicious diamonds. And we're going to put them safe in a box until we have enough to make a decent amount of equipment that will keep us alive so we can go back and forth and transport our goods to the shop. And maybe buy a whole bunch of bread for a bread party. Bread parties are the best. Everyone loves to stuff, stuff their face with all kinds of bread. Especially the Italian kind with those little chocolate bits in it. Delicious. Not gonna lie, almost died and fell down that hole. That's a bit sneaky there, bros. That's a, that's a, that's a little sneaky. Gotta say. <laughs> I'm just going to mine down here. Uh. Down by the... Wow. Mm. See you when I get out. Freedom? Looks like he kind of just dug his... Oh man, I accidentally dropped my own pickaxe and he picked it up. Doesn't get much more fail than that. Fail than... Fail than that. So much lag. You're just a bucket of fun, aren't you? Oh, this guy. You know what I'm gonna do, bro? You know what I'm gonna do, bro? Mess with your stuff. Oh no. Your stuff. It's messed with. Really? Oh, this will suck for you. Do unto others as you would have done to you. Okay, let them out. There you go. Definitely going to be mining while hitting shift, I think. Because this guy's making some sneaky traps. Plus lag equals doom. Much doom. And he's following me. Giving me the creep. Oh my gosh. What? Sometimes I don't know Minecraft. I don't know what you're trying to do. I could smack your grandmother. I would never do that. Back. Well, I think I've been overtaken by the lag monster. So. I'm going to call it here. We accomplished a lot. That's a bold-faced lie. We accomplished nothing, died several times, and lost all the items I spent weeks gathering. But, on the positive note, we were given free, free stuff, even if it was garbage flakes quality. But it was so nice to see a see a friendly gesture in the prison of Shanktitude. This is a fun server though, so you should check it out. Next time we'll be in here looking for some diamonds. And hopefully not dying. Oh, I do have other pickaxes. Well, that's gonna help a lot for the regular digging.
anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Peapod Paul. This is Prison Craft, I think it's called. I'll put the address in the description. Now, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. And don't die when you play. You'll lose everything.